yeah anyway this is just a super simple update on all of our plants growing outside for you guys as i said they're growing super super well now and we will also be sowing some seeds that finally arrived for us today guys and do you want to know what they are they are drosera regii drosera filiformis and drosera rotundifolia so we finally have our little seeds of drosera regii ready to grow with us again guys so let's start the video As I said, what we're gonna do now, we are going to take our seeds and what I wanna do first is I wanna actually open up the packages and take a look at the seeds. So the seeds that we got, these Drosera Regi, if you've been following our channel, you'll know that I spoke about the seed quality of Drosera Regi. Now, the person that I actually got these Drosera Regi seeds from, he says that his seeds are very good quality and that he doesn't have any chaff in them and it's just purely seeds. So I actually wanna check up and see how high quality his seeds are or aren't. I'm pretty sure they will be good quality because this guy seems very legit. And yeah, we'll check them out and we'll also look at all the other seeds. And then once we've checked them out, I'm gonna go get our old pot of the previous Drosera Regia's old pot, if that makes sense. I'm gonna get that pot and we are going to, as I said before, cut up the top layer of the sphagnum moss and we're gonna also prepare two pots for the other seeds. So let's start doing that, guys. Okay guys, so here is our seed package that we got, obviously, as I said, in the mail. It came obviously in this bubble wrap here, and this bubble wrap is just to protect the seeds because these seeds, they go in mail sorting machines, and those machines roll over the letters. So you need to ensure that you have bubble wrap over your plants, or your seeds and your plants, to ensure that the seeds don't get obviously crushed. Now quite a few of these bubbles are actually quite flat, so I hope that the seeds are okay, but these bubbles, I mean, they're not that bad, but it's still a little bit worrisome. So let us now open this up without destroying the packets that the seeds are in. Maybe I can just cut it like this. There we go. And these are our seed packs. Drosera filiformis, Rotundifolia, and Regia. So the one that I'm most interested to look at right now are these Drosera Regias. You can see the year that they were um, collected. So these are from 2019, and this is from 2018. Um, I got the freshest seeds that he had, so we can ensure that we had tons and tons of seeds. And as I said, we got 30 seeds. So let's hope that these seeds are very healthy, very happy, and that we get lots and lots of seeds from them, or seedlings from them. So this is a typical fold that people use for carnivorous plant seeds. No tape is needed, but it keeps everything secure. You just kind of fold it over itself. So guys, I can tell you right now, these seeds are very, very good quality. Let me try and get this camera down here for you guys. Take a look at the seeds. You can see they're like this crescent moon shape, but every single one of them is thick, like thicker than a snicker. You can see that these seeds are not flat, they're not squashed, they're not, yeah, as I said, flat. All of these seeds are very, very thick and round and they look very, very healthy. So these seeds are very, very healthy seeds and I'm very glad with, these, with this purchase over here. So let me just put the camera back for you guys. So right off the bat, I'm very happy with these seeds, guys. Let me just count and see how many we did actually get. Because he did say 30, but just out of interest sake, I'd like to see. Yes, and we got more than 30 seeds, which is obviously a great thing. We got about 35 to 40. So yeah, guys, I'm really, really happy with this purchase. This was purchased from Telopianursery.com. I think this guy's in Bulgaria. No, I don't really remember. So yeah, as I said, I just want to check these out. These ones I'm not gonna show you guys because the seeds are like microscopic. But now let's go set up the pots for these guys and let's get the pot for these guys ready as well. Okay guys, so last time I got the soil and we mixed it in like a container and it was very difficult. So I bought this for the sole purpose of being used to mix soil. But I've had this pot sitting inside of it, this pot that we were going to use for the Drosophilums. 
And obviously there's lots of sand in here and I've been so lazy to actually clean it out so that we can actually use this for mixing soils. But I feel like we should use it for its purpose because otherwise we're gonna struggle with actually mixing all the soil properly. So let's give this a clean and go get all our soil. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Okay guys, so that is our two pots now, all potted up, ready to take the seeds of the Drosera filiformis and the Drosera rotundifolia. And now what I'm gonna do with our old pot of the Drosera regia pot, I'm gonna take out the top layer of moss, cut it all up nice and fine. I'm going to take that top layer of sphagnum on top of that pot, cut it up nice and fine so there's good contact with the seeds with the top of the soil. And we will also be putting the Osmocode pellets in now. Just a couple pellets around the pot so that there is fertilizer for when these guys start to grow up a little bit. As I said, I don't want to over fertilize them too much. So I'll just put a little bit of fertilizer in. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so I feel like this is a very good consistency. It's very, very fine, which is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, as you guys can see, if I separate a little bit, there's only very small pieces everywhere, which is perfect for these guys. You wanted like a, like a little flat pad of purely sphagnum moss so that the plants obviously have, or the seeds obviously have good contact with the soil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, sphagnum moss onto the actual pot so that this level is raised up because this is very, very fine and will become very, very flat. Okay guys, so there we go. We have now just put that little moss patty on the top here and you can see how flat it is now. There aren't a lot of crevices like before and this means that our little seeds will have really, really good contact with the top of the soil, which is exactly what I wanted. So now I'm just gonna get some, so sorry, I hit you on the head. I'm gonna get some Osmocode pellets and just, you know, just put them around everywhere. I'm not gonna put a lot because I don't wanna over fertilize them, but just enough that there is some nutrients going into the soil. And there we go, we have seven, I guess, little sphagnum pieces in here, which is more than enough in my opinion for these guys. So let's put their tag on. And now we need to make the tags for the next guys and then we can sew them up. So let's go finish that off real quick. 
Okay guys, and I've just finished off labeling all of the seeds and also putting them onto the computer so I can obviously track these seeds and what numbers they are and everything. And also so I can see the history of like the seeds I buy from random people. So I can see that like, if people are giving me seeds that aren't growing. So that is very, very important and a good tip for you guys. Always write down who you get your seeds from because if those seeds don't sprout, you know that that person is screwing you over. So yeah, that's just some extra info for you guys there. What I will now do is just simply sprinkle our little Drosera Rija seeds over the top of this pot. And this is how you sow most of different types of Drosera. And there we go, those are Drosera Rija seeds sown. And then the next bit is to take your misting bottle like this and just spray down the seeds so they have good contact with the soil. And there we go guys, that's all there is to it. We have now sown our next batch of Drosera Rija seeds. I'm so excited for these guys to actually start growing with us. And hopefully this time we won't kill them. So let's put them aside and we'll do the exact same thing for our Drosera rotundifolia and the filiformis. Wow, this is a lot of seeds guys. So there we have it guys, I've now updated you on all of our plants outside who are doing super super well and we finally have our new pot of Drosera Regi and some extra cool different Drosteras, Rotundifolia and Filiformis and I'm super super excited for these guys to grow with you so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on them actually germinating and growing up with us and hopefully we get this guy to grow super well this time because we have strong seeds and we know a little bit more than last time. So all I'm going to do is I want to put them outside in the tray of water like you saw me do with our previous batch of seeds that are still germinating um, that you saw like right at the beginning of the update. That's where all of this, the different seeds go that still need to germinate and they are going to just stay there until they do germinate. And once they have germinated, I will update you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.